This evening, we're going to share with you a story about reversing the degradation of the high seas. It's my story, it's your story, but much more importantly, it's our shared story. Yes, uh, we're talking about half of the face of our globe. It is managed by none, but is important to all of us, and only 1% of it is protected. The time has come to unleash Africa's blue revolution, and I'd like to encourage all of us gathered here to also take this debate to the national and regional levels. We are convinced the ocean have been crying black tears due to the abuse that we have caused over time. We owe the ocean an apology, and I humbly ask that all of us, united in reversing the ocean black tears, back to its original emerald and rainbow colors. eight proposals we put on the table and we ask you to generously support them not just to carry them into the General Assembly of the United Nations but to join us to work assiduously to ensure that peoples across the world know of their responsibility and know as Fua said that we must act together now in the interest of the health of the ocean. For me the, this report is very important for two reasons. First, because this report set an agenda, a reliable and realistic agenda, ambitious but realistic. And it also opens the door to concrete discussions and results. But now is the time for us to mobilize. Now is the time to mobilize resources. Now is the time to mobilize political will. Now is the time to bring about effective capacity building. And for that, we need the support of all actors. Nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. And so tonight is a call to action, as well as the publication of a report. The job of the Commission is in part to propose, but it is also to build a coalition beyond those who are already convinced. 80% of our work comes after publication. If we only publish a nice report, if we only publish a nice animated video, we will not achieve change. And so I ask you to go away tonight with a vow that you're going to be part of the Coalition for Change. We've never had in this community the type of high-level interest and momentum behind some of the key threats to the ocean and the fact that there's all this emphasis on solutions from the Commission's recommendation is really inspiring for the entire community. I think what we spoke about this evening in terms of bycatch was what resonated most with me. It's appalling when each time that we put something to our mouths that we've caught from the wild ocean results in the death toll of numerous other organisms that need not have died and are, doing, are, are dying simply because of our ineffectual practices. This evening showed very clearly that we are not short of insights, we are short of leadership and this leadership is forming and we could very clearly see that tonight. Just publishing is not enough. After the papers are published, we have to take the information out to the public in order to get action. I'm extremely excited about the work that the Global Ocean Commission has done. And if I think what's next, I would basically say just do it. We're going to be in the just do it phase now. We have this wonderful set of recommendations and as a world we now have to deliver. of tonight is that now is the time to act. So if you're a diplomat, a journalist, or just an ordinary citizen, please visit change.org and learn about how you can join the campaign to save the global ocean.